Hi guys, this is Svee, Diamond in the Rough, and for those of you that are new to my channel, you probably haven't seen this, so up in this corner you see this little lioness and cup. That's a custom picture uh, that, uh, that I took um, while I was in South Africa, and I've turned it into a custom. Custom's slightly different though. The custom is actually working. I'm actually working it onto a blank canvas using a cross stitch pattern. Okay, so here, just using. It's going to focus. So it's just doing exactly the same, but working off a pattern that it, that's printed out. It is. What's the size? It's about 100 by 70 centimetres, so 100 wide by 70 centimetres. I'll show you what I have completed, which oh, probably that light's probably too bright. Okay, so I have completed this section. One section, which is this size here, this section here, that's one page. back through this what I have completed is I've now completed 11 pages <laughs> and I just completed page 16 oh, sorry page 13 um, that's because I haven't done all of not doing the two outer rows of this um, picture do keep this fairly well organized um, this Diamond painting when it's completed has 103 different colours in it and what I have been doing is every time I have completed a page I mark out how long it's taken me to do a section when I started when I finished and how many colours were in that section so about four hours it took me to do that section um, which is there's 53 colors in that little section well, let's see if I can zoom zoom that in for you to have a look just bear with me guys while I oops might have I go the other way <laughs> it's taken a fair amount of zoom there Okay, so you can see yeah, there's 56 different colours in that little area. It's giving fantastic detail. I have absolutely brilliant detail on this because I've gone huge. Um, hang on, I'll get it back to where you can see. Back to the better view. Bear with me while I get you back so you can see my desk again. So yeah, the, with it being so big, um, the pixelation isn't really there. You know, it's it, you are still pretty close to that, but very happy with how it's going. Um, hang on, I just need to pack this away to where I need it to go. That goes there. So keeping track of this work, getting done, quite a lot of fun. Um, when I first did this, I did a, I showed how I created this, or I, how I create a cross stitch pattern, converted into a diamond pattern, diamond painting, um, and the organisation. Now, what I will need to do is, when I first did this, my recording was horrible, so I will do a new recording of how to create a diamond painting using a program that I have that I, well not a program it's an online and um, you set it up to how you want it and it's, and you just pay for that pattern and you earn that copyright all my drills are stored in the Elizabeth Ward 
what I've got is those two trays are what I've just of colours that I've got just used and I haven't used these colours in that small section. To help keep track of my symbols I um, did actually put the listing of all my colours with including how many drills were needed. So like there's one there that only need 37 drills. I've got one there that only needed eight. But yeah that's got the picture. Um, if you actually look at it this is a closer picture to what you can see up in the corner. But yeah um, what I have been doing I record this under a time lapse so I will go to the time lapse now. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy just watching that process of how I put these colours down. I can't go one colour, one. I can't get, say, what do I use? What are the colours? 3021, very dark brown. I couldn't just put those in those specific spots. I work in a line because there is so many different colours. But yeah, guys, um, enjoy the time lapse. I'll just bring this over and, whoops, bring it that way, might help another look at what I've done um, basically there we go that's taken 44 hours worth of work to get that excluding all the prep work and all of that so yeah enjoy uh, enjoy the time lapse and for those of you that are new hopefully you'll enjoy watching this process as I do it um, it's not a very I don't work on it all the time Obviously I have quite a few different uh, projects on the go, but this is a um, big one that I am, I have to get motivated to do it at times, but yeah. So enjoy the time lapse and um, thank you for watching.